Here's a man who's not short on confidence. Unbeaten from England, Jake Hadley, 7-0. Are you ready? Touch of the gloves underway. Look at Hadley right on Mitch Raposo. Hadley's in the red. Raposo is in the blue. Nice body kick to open things up for Hadley. Hadley's not waiting for the counter. All aggression. That's the biggest note I had on Hadley is he's a bully fighter. He bullies on the feet. He bullies on the ground. And one of the best things that you could do against a bully fighter is earn his respect early in the fight. So Mitch has got to get right back in his face and not allow himself to be forced to fight off the back foot. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's truly key. When you've got somebody that marches you down in your face, not afraid of what you're going to throw, well, you better hit him with something. Exactly. Let him know, all right, you want to come in here, you're going to get smacked. Spoke with Mitch Raposo's manager, Tyson Chartier earlier today said, how does Mitch get the win tonight as the underdog? He says, needs to use his movement, pick him apart, and make him a wrestler. There you go. That was beautiful nice. right there. He used his own wrestling, Brendan. But if you're going to look at the jiu-jitsu already starting to be on display here from Hadley. Very flexible. Wow, he's, oh, he's over that shoulder. He's over that shoulder. Wow. Looking for an omoplata, possibly. Man, very rare to see an omoplata. All right, he's going to switch, switch it into an armbar. No, now he's got the go-go plata. A go-go plata would be even crazier. Oh, that would be madness. Look at the flexibility and, and just how he transitions from yeah. one to the next. But now he is on his back, so Mitch has got to have a little bit of confidence gained from that. All right, escape those few things. He's got to settle him down a little bit now, though. You can't let Hadley keep rolling and looking for arm bars and different submissions. He's already locking up this arm. There you go. There's just no panic of in No, that was very nice back. there. It, but, but that was nice work from right. from, from uh, Raposo too, to stay calm, all right? Fight out of these subs, but now you see Hadley already trying to work his way back up. That's smart too, right? Because he threw a few submissions at him. Yep. Didn't work. All right, let's move on to the next thing. And I like how Mitch is slowly working him back against the cage, shoving him in that corner. Didn't quite get there, but that's where you want a good jiu-jitsu guy to be shoved in that corner. Yeah, not able to roll their hips and, and, and have all that space. Space is waste. Combination on, on each side. Mitch Raposo got this call about two and a half weeks ago, was training his wrestling for the last six weeks or so, ready to take a fight. Two and a half to go in round number one. Working a lot with Joe Lozon recently. Well, Hadley. that's a good guy to be working with. Get out of there, Mitch. Although Mitch, I, I know his corner's yelling at him to get out of there, but he seems to be doing very well in there. He's slipping a lot of these punches, getting out of the way, and, and, and doing a good job of countering back. And that's like what you said, Laura. He's got to establish that, hey, I'm not afraid of you, man. Return, nothing's straight, nothing's straight. That's exactly what they're saying to him, nothing's free. You got to make him pay for every inch that he tries to gain on you and, and every strike that he tries to throw. But I feel like Mitch almost was kind of baiting him into the cage. That's when he level changed and shot that takedown. He feels very comfortable with his back against the cage. And I think we might see more level changes from him if, we, if, if Hadley pushes him in that direction. It was April of this year when Mitch Raposo fought in the UFC Apex as part of the ultimate fighter. He fought on the first week. Obviously, it didn't go his way. He said, in a way, it was the best thing. Then I had five weeks to just train with Alexander Volkanovsky, the featherweight champion, with no fight coming up. Just be able to sponge, just learn. learn. And that's when you learn the most, right? In between camps, when you can really build those skills. Yeah, when you're, and you know what it is, too? You don't have that pressure of, oh, man, every little mistake you make, you, it starts wearing on your mind. When you're free of not having that fight looming over you, you just focus on things. You're not to worry about mistakes. Significant strike Man, Mitch is doing really well. Proposal. Hadley doing a good job, though, looking to land to the body, mix up his targets. Yeah, and Hadley's got a, a, a good kicking game as well, especially out of that southpaw stance. He goes to the body and to the head very well Keep going after me. That, and i like that mitch's corner is yelling proposal to, to, to follow that up that one two is there okay we know that but if you want to hurt your opponent it's got to be more nice work take down for Raposo. inside control 
You know, I tried to get past that leg, but good job from Hadley to keep him there so we can start looking for some missions. I won't, say was, the wrist. I, was, I won't say it was easy, but not much resistance there on that takedown. No, so far, Raposo's perfect timing on it on his level changes into takedowns. Well, I think sometimes, too, when you have as an offensive game as Hadley does off of his back, right. there's a little part of your brain that goes like, no, I'll be all right. Yeah, don't. bring it down. Yeah. Sure. We're going to listen into the corner of Jake Hadley, Ready? former Cage Warriors champion You're Jake fine. Hadley in the flyweight division. Good opening round for the underdog, Mitch Raposo. And you know what I like? I like that he's up walking around, barely even breathing. Your opponent's still sitting on the stool. These are all mind games. It's all part of the fight game. And we don't know the backstory on the weight miss, but for a fighter that's never missed weight, you got to wonder, was it because of an injury? Is there some other circumstance? And we'll see how it holds up throughout the fight. Yeah, a lot of things could be at play. All this travel, the quarantines, being in different hotels. I mean, but that's the game, Brendan. Yep. That's the game. That's how your career will always be. So hopefully it's not an injury is what the, uh, the other thing it could be, right? And that we won't know until afterwards because obviously Hadley's not going to make excuses before the fight. Hadley keeps defending in this sort of unusual way where he's lifting his right arm, lifting his elbow up, and the corner of Mitch Raposo said, listen, he's exposing his body. You can land a body kick. You can land a liver shot there. Yeah, bait, just bait touch, that touch, defense out, liver. yeah. Oh, oh nice beautiful. level change again there. He, he didn't have the double, so he snatched up the single, and he doesn't have it, he lets it go. I think that's smart work from Raposo to not force the issue, especially with somebody with the submission threat uh, that Hadley has. Raposo, state champion wrestler in Massachusetts, Durfee High School in Fall River. Fall River, probably sorry, said that wrong. <laughs> I think Hadley's just got to get his, his timing down, right? He, there's a nice body kick. And now he's going to force it. That's a smart move from Hadley. I like it. Let me get on top. Let me work my top game now. And look how he has the legs of Mitch Raposo oh, wrapped up. That's such a tricky position to get out of. Now he's getting the wrist. This is a oh, bad yeah. position for Raposo to be in here. If Hadley can control both the legs, there we go. Now he lost the legs. That's good work from... Oh, this is a bad spot. Hand control. Hand control. Back to the cage, Mitch. Hadley has a really, really good rear naked choke game, too. He's got an excellent back ride. He's got a few on his record, yep. right? All three yeah. of his submissions are rear naked chokes. He's got half of the second round to work. Dominant position in the driver's seat. Both hooks in on the back. Now he goes body triangle. You see Raposo doing the right thing. He's going to that locked side. He's going to try to turn in, but he has to bail out and give up his back again. That's not good. This is not good. He's got to fight the hands. Hand to hand grip here. He's not fighting the hands. It's on the chin right now, but he's got to continue he's to fight fighting the hands. Oh, now he's really cranking Raposo. And he's just sitting there. It's on the jaw. Again, it's on the jaw. Uncomfortable. But you know what happens a lot of times? It's so uncomfortable, guys lift their chin to get out of it, yes. and they put themselves in the choke. And if your teeth are not cold, oh, oh, there's the tap and got to be too much. Jake Hadley what still means. undefeated. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Squeezes big time, and right now he's immediately apologizing. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah. Right over to Dana, said, sorry to miss weight. Yeah. Looked impressive, though, once he got it where he wanted it. Listen, first round didn't go his way. Got taken down a couple times. We saw the submission threat already there as soon as Hadley hit the back. But he made his adjustments, and this is what he did that I loved. Big body kick, and he says, you know what? Wait, what am I doing? Let me get this fight to the ground where I'm stronger on the mat, on top, get to the back, and do my thing, get my fourth rear naked choke, and that's exactly what it does. What's more impressive is this isn't in. This is just the squeeze that this flyweight has right there. There's a reason he's already got three, make it four rear naked chokes on his record. And that wasn't even flush. That's just on a jaw. 25 years old, Cage Warriors, former champion, EFC champion down in South Africa as well. Top prospect in the flyweight division in all of Europe. Really one of the best prospects from Europe, period, no matter the weight class. And he shows you why tonight. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog stops the fight at 3-11, round number two. Your winner by tap out due to rear naked choke, Jake Hadley. Yes.